Bobby Winger, aka Poker Winger, starting day eight of the Hero Challenge of the $5, trying to turn $200 profit. As you can see on the bottom, we are down now minus five, which doesn't sound that great, but if you see where we're coming from, we are all the way down to minus 60. Now we're back up to 105. Oh, so that means we're even. So I got the title wrong because we started this challenge at 107 and we're back to 105 so we're even. I did a $2 thing earlier. But as you can still see our yellow line is kicking ass playing. It just keeps going up and if you look at the bottom it shows you your games for like you know for almost 300 games our yellow line is just just peaking. So it's looking very nice. Our green line is slowly starting to follow it. Um, so that's the quick update. I think at the bottom I wrote minus 5. Does it tell me that? Yeah, I think we're at minus five, but I think we're we're actually even to start day this uh, day eight. I'm firing up another one here, so I'm pretty hyped because considering the downswings, um, I can't believe the variance in this. Like uh, I know you guys keep seeing it, but uh, I got back to even earlier, like right around here, like later earlier in the day, and then look at I dipped right back down to forty, and I mean look at my yellow line, like getting it in good and just not holding out. So. You know, I hope I don't dip again, but that look at this green line like uh, looks like a heart rate like it's just crazy um, So I can't I can't do too much about the variance um, All I can do is try to play good poker uh, So this just frees my table again So this hasn't happened in a while. I just I emailed party poker. I sent them a video of this You're gonna see it's gonna blind me out here. What can I do screenshot it again? Um, so now I'm going to have to sit out on this other table before I'm back in these. Thank God there are only two X's, but you guys get to see what happens. Party Poker says it's not on their end, but I'm telling you it is. Because I, it happened to me on another computer. Okay, so I have to wait a second. So that's a shitty way to start it, but it is what it is. I lost two games like this one time uh, on a downswing. It didn't make me feel good. Usually it lets me come back here in a second now. This will go away. This guy doesn't know that we're gone here. Does our two take it? We still take a hand. Okay, come on, let us back, come on. Enough's enough, okay, there we go. I know we're good, but we need we need to be able to play our cards. Sad thing is I wanna tile this. I don't even know if I'm allowed to right now. It might, it might freeze me out again. Um, so that's the quick update. We're, we're even starting these two. And the goal is still for the, this has to get to 305 for us to be done the challenge. So I know you see it at 100. But we started this at 107, just in case this is your first day, first day watching. Uh, good news though, the rake back just got paid to start the the new week, so I got um, 75 dollars last week in rake back, and just like in a couple hours ago, we started the new week. So I'm on my first first little chunk of trying to get to five dollars for the week. So it goes Sunday to Sunday for party poker. And 75 bucks back and rake back is pretty pretty good. Plus I did a mission um, for $30. So you know we got over $100 back in uh, just from the site from playing their site. And actually I got a couple more bucks because I did a couple missions that were like $2 tickets. Like you see here I got tickets. I can open them up and show you guys. There's not much going on these tables. Just a little slow when you get into this stuff. And I actually got to use these like the next couple days. See, so, look, I got like little $1 buy-in tournaments. Uh, one of them was a $5 one, um, $2 one, stuff like that. Anyways, it's pretty cool to just do little missions. It's free money. I'm about to unlock one tonight. It actually could be any minute. I just had to play two days in a row and I had to do a couple other things, but I already did the other thing. So in uh, maybe in an hour, we'll get another ticket for a $2 tournament. And then uh, I'm actually almost, I've done almost all the missions. I actually have one more left, but I don't know if they're going to let me, it says it's locked right now, so I don't know if I have to, um, so you'll see here, I'm currently doing one right now, over here, why does it say zero? Maybe I haven't done any of it. Okay, pocket tens in this spot, or sorry, pocket fours, I'm just going to jam there. Not much history with this guy, probably a newbie. We play the same time most nights, so uh, I don't mind getting in against them. Double your stack, play 250 tournament hands, three days of wonder. So, I wonder if it'll show me how many hands we played of this. Get st stuck out of a tournament. Hint. 
Here's a hint, check out on how to play selection for tips on how to make most of your game. So maybe this isn't counting because I'm only playing uh, this format. Anyways, these are just little missions you can do to get free, free rewards, free money, free tournament tickets. In case you guys don't play party poker. But I only have two of them left. So I'm, I'm actually curious if I finish the two, if it resets and you get to do them all over again or it's a one-time thing. I don't know enough about it. So I think we're still going to do this before January 1st is what I keep telling you guys. I kind of think it's going to be done, uh, I think before Christmas, but I, I told myself I would do it before January 1st. So um, I know this variance is going crazy, but you got to think that yellow line is starting to be really, really consistent now over a pretty big sample size. Soon we're going to run hot. Um, we still haven't had a big spin and now 1400 plus games here, like our samples are getting big now. We're close to 1500 games and we've never had a 25x spin. So I honestly think it, it could any spin now can change this whole challenge real, real quick. Um, but if we have to do it the little way, then we'll do it the little way. It's uh, improving my game anyway, so uh, I, I don't mind grinding it out. Um, for the sound quality, I know the sound doesn't sound the greatest. I've never got into learning how to record or, or adjust the settings on the OBS I use right here is OBS to record all this. Um, I've never learned how to adjust the settings. But what I did do today, I went on Amazon and I ordered a, a microphone. I see a lot of guys are on Twitch and stuff use a microphone. So I ordered one of those uh, that comes in in uh, about a week, I think it comes in. End of the week, today's Sunday, I said it will be here by Thursday. So uh, we'll get that all going by next week, learn how to do that. And hopefully, uh, right now I know when I play the videos, I think you guys hear the computer. Uh, I got a lot of things going on. This is just a laptop I play on. So I got an HDMI card to a TV. I got music playing, I got this recording, I got a, uh, a HUD. So it's a lot for a laptop. So you guys in the videos, you guys always hear the computer working kind of hard. So I hope if I have a microphone that will change that and you won't, you won't hear that as much. And uh, down the road, I might even get a desktop computer. Um, right now in my house, I'm just working on my basement. You guys have maybe seen before in, in the webcam. So once my basement's done, I might get a better setup. And uh, we're under 10 big blinds with an ace here. Don't mind stealing the blinds. And uh, also, we don't mind if we get a call here. Um, so when I get a better setup, oh, nice. We want to flip. Or did we? Yep, we did. So down the road, I might have a, a, a much better setup. I still think I'm going to do Twitch down the road. I haven't fully decided on that. I think when you're on Twitch though, people really want you to be committed on a schedule, especially if people subscribe to you. And uh, I don't know what schedule I could commit to right now, so that's the only reason what's stopping me from, from doing it. You guys can feel free to comment though if you think uh, you'd like me to go on Twitch. I don't know if a lot of you guys watch it. Most, most poker people watch Twitch now though. Oh, I touched, look at this. It's gonna freeze me again for touching the bottom. I knew not to touch the tables. It's so crazy this happens. And part, Party Poker doesn't believe me. I send them emails. Like, look at this. I'm going to get f f crazy. They're going to sit me out on both of these. Oh, I won again. This this table, it's a big pot for the stakes we're playing right now. I mean, like, the, the blinds. Okay, come on. Get us back here. Get us back. Get us back. Get us back. Okay, we are back on the one. That is pretty tilted. I can't even touch these tables. Like, how crazy is that? You coming down to say goodnight, bud? Oh, I like your new pajamas. Are you making a video? I am making a video. Come say hi. Hi, guys. I want to hear this funny joke from Annoying Orange. You might have saw his video, and, and you might have saw the joke that says, Knock, knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo hoo. Jeez, you don't have to cry about it. <laughs> Good night, Dad. Good night, boy. I love you. That's a funny joke. You should do that on your YouTube channel. I know. Bye, and guys. And then I'll, Bye. I'll tell these guys and they can subscribe to it. Guys, I want to do shakefearsleep.com. <laughs> okay, well, I don't have a webcam tonight, so they can't see you, but they can definitely hear you. I know. Bye, guys. I need to go in the top. 
Okay, I think we're good over here. I don't think he's that strong, but I still think you have to jam on table one. Just in case he has a six. Yeah, I thought he was pretty weak there, but if he's not gonna call the jam, I don't see him calling a value bet with the, with how much was in the pot there. So, betting value there. I think he would have folded to a min bet, to be honest, so. Same bet. And we lose a flip there. Okay, we'll be calling it all in or we'll jam table two. He's only got five big blinds. Jack Queen is definitely good enough. Not against 4-2 apparently though. 4-2 is the nuts. Okay, we lost two flips here. We should have had two wins there. King two is a jam. Look it up. Under 10 big blinds for him. It's a jam all day to Sunday. Especially against someone who's raised 30% of their hands and played 60%. You definitely want to be jamming King 2 in that spot. They'll be calling you very wide there. Okay, pocket 8s. We're going to jam him. He's going to call us. We're going to win this flip right here, right now. Ace, Queen. There's our 8. No spade. No spade. There we go. We won both of the flips. Okay, that one. Let's get a new one going right away. So that's our first win, first game of the night. Let's close the second one over here on the right, or the left, sorry. And we do it, baby. Two in a row. The challenge is turning around, people. That should put us, uh, if we were even, and we won two, that means we are now up $10. We are back in the green, let's fucking go. I'm pretty hyped just because, guys, like, look, we were down from min to minus 60, and we were started at 107. Uh, I don't know what day we started on Like oh what I think you know what I think it was like right here So we've played close to 400 spins now or sorry close to 500 on the $5 ones the first thousand was on the $3 heroes took me about a thousand to make a hundred Which just because we went on a big downswing and same with this one and this one's taken us a little longer But downswings that's a part of poker right and especially hyper turbos not much we could do about it. I sent my graph to a site online today and I wanted to ask them how my, my yellow line, if that is really showing how well I'm playing. Uh, I've read other people's graphs and everyone says just watch your yellow EV line. There's other lines you can do, like um, I just haven't fully looked into how to use this uh, tr poker tracker enough. Like you'll see these lines here. There's gonna be a whole bunch of other ones, but I don't even know what the fuck they all really mean. I haven't spent too much time on it. Um, I really should and there's also something you can do uh, there's a leak tracker on this uh, program and they can find your leaks okay we got two more two X's I'm just going to show you what these other lines are so apparently this blue line is really important chips won without showdown so we're kicking ass with chips without showdown but then the reds chips won without showdown so apparently when we're in a three three people pot we don't do well but heads up we dominate Think that's what that means but to be honest i don't really fucking know if anyone knows feel free to make comments like uh, i'm a pretty rookie if you guys even have a link uh i should spend some time here and properly learn how to how to use that program because uh i bought it it cost a hundred dollars i think to buy uh i forget exactly what i bought it but it's a lifetime purchase if you're playing poker online without a hud a poker program this or hold a manager you are in a huge, huge handicap. Uh, I'm not saying you you can't do it, but uh, just for seeing where all your money is going, your ups and downs, uh, how you're playing. I know for my downswings, it saved me from being on tilt because, uh, so that's a strange spot there. I don't think he's bluffing too often there. Um, you know, seeing that yellow line, when I'm, when I'm down here and I'm flipping, thinking the world's against me, but then I see that yellow line saying we're playing good poker. Um, it honestly does matter for, for me anyways, for being on tilt, I guess just being a little weak-minded. Um, but it lets me know that I am playing I am playing good. And it's not just like in my head, I have like proof to say like, you know what, it's not, you, you don't just think you're playing good, you, you are playing good. Stick to your game, the variance will come around. And as of right now, we're back in the green. So uh, good news right now, even though we're short stacking both of these games, but we get a double up on table two on the right. We flop the flush over here on table one. He's betting into us. OK, 
Okay, let's just keep letting that guy bet. We'll get it into him right now on the river. Ooh, not good on table two. Ran into the Cowboys. Looks like it's a 2x. I'm starting to learn the patterns of uh, what's what. Okay, ace 10. I'm going to shove him. This guy's been so aggressive. A few raises here. I don't want to do a small 3 bet. Not a good flop for someone limped in. Now we'll check the nuts. So now I'm just gonna bet pot, see what he does. Hopefully he jams us with the 10. Probably calls with like a queen. Let's see what he had. King four, so he checked top pair. Time for an update. You can fuck right off right here. Remind me tonight. Let's go with that. Remind me tonight. So how do I do that? Pick a time. No, I just want to cancel that shit. Okay, we're gonna jam it. This guy's raising way too much. Jack 10. No 9. Oh, a 9 or a king actually. And that queen gave him a lot of outs. Okay, if he wants to dance with the 7s, we're gonna call him. Here we go. Well, not a good flop. We need a 7. Ace, king though. That's a standard flip. Not mad at him from going all in with Ace King suited. I'd be doing it all day too. Okay, so that dog over there is a donkey. He should not have. I raised, he re-raised, and he jammed. I know he was low, but king eight is never gonna be ahead in that spot. You saw me raise, fold the jack queen. So that was not a good play by him. This player on table two here, I don't think he's that strong. Uh, I'm gonna bet a five here. You know what? I think he might call us like a, a ten or a king there. Okay, bad read on that table. I thought he was weak. I don't think he's bluffing in that spot. Okay, I'm playing two very very aggressive players. If you start looking at your HUD which helps for multi-tabling, especially why you want to have a HUD. So, and with me talking right now, I'm not paying attention as much, so the HUD does it for you that when you need to look at something, these stats here, 40% raising preflop, 50% play, uh, and we just got the heads up, so he's playing very aggressive. King 10, ran into the diamonds. Okay, King 7, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jam him here. We're gonna call that. And we double up, baby. Ace-7 is an all-in on the right. Ace-4. You know what? Because of what just happened, I'm going to jam him. Calls with a 10-queen. No 10, no queen. Okay, baby. Okay, we're going to be all-in on table 1. For the win. Nope, he's got a 5. Oh, we got a 6. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's just keep firing them up. Let's protect our king on table one, or two, sorry. Sorry for the layout right now, guys. I can't, as you can see it, if I touch anything, it's gonna crash my tables. Okay, we got a four X, table one, baby. My memory's not the best, so I don't even know if we're, I think we're now even for the night, because we, one or first two or not even. I don't know what the fuck we are. 
won our first two, then lost one, won one. So I think we're up two right now, considering the two we're in. King two, we will defend. Okay. Oh, I want to steal this. If he checks the river here, if a brick comes, I'm going to bet. Yeah, I didn't like the jack. I'm going to bet on that ace and king here if he checks. Okay, nice flop on table two. We're just, there's no point of raising them here. I don't want to scare him away here. With our stack size though, if he bets 120, I will check raise him the river. And now we just get it all in. We hope he got, he has a queen. He wouldn't have, he wouldn't have checked the jack there. King six, baby. Thanks for letting us back in the game there. He is, oh, I shouldn't have even done that. It's gonna freeze us if we make a note. I want to label him a donkey, but I cannot afford a missing hands right now. We're gonna call it ace higher in table one for the forex. It's probably betting the seven. It's hard with the with the spade now for us to call here. Now we gotta lay it down. Ace queen, easy raise. Ace three, easy raise. We'll call an all in on table two. Here we go. Against pocket seven, standard flip. We got an ace. And we win it. Oh, he's down to 38. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Oh, we're playing the same guy on both tables, so F that guy. Where are you from, buddy? Drop a king on him. Okay, so he doubled up. He's from Poland. I actually like the Poland players. They're pretty solid. Pretty solid. A lot of them play the same, but it's a pretty sound, sound play. Okay, we're definitely in the, the winning column tonight, baby. We'll update the uh, poker tracker here in a minute. This forex could really, I gotta call that. He's gonna, oh shit, yeah, he's gonna check it though. Don't want, okay, so that's a brick of bricks. So he's got absolutely nothing. So we're gonna see if he calls with ace high. Oh yeah, watch this. I'm gonna say ace nine. Jack, jack. So you got a little more than nothing. So that board there, just for you guys to tell you what I would do, he shouldn't have bet that flop there. We gotta call him now. We're gonna drop a king on him. We're gonna drop a king on him. No, we are not. Um, I don't think he played that hand right though with that board. He shouldn't have bet on that board. But that's just me, I, I wouldn't have with the jacks there. Oh, no way. Oh. I think he's got a queen here. I don't think I can get him off it. Oh, tens, we rivered him. This guy's not playing his hands correctly. He let us get there. Okay, because we're out of position here, I'm gonna jam with ace jack. So that's a wide jam. Sorry, um, you could value bet there, but I think they think you're weaker than ace jack. So a lot of times an ace reg will call you, even a king queen will call you in that spot. So um, ace jack doesn't flop extremely well. So I could see you do either or doing a two and a half X or just jam there. I do find though in that spot people call you pretty wide. And uh, A7 here, with how much this guy's been raising, we're gonna be ahead of his range a lot of the times. King, queen, there we go. So we're playing solid right now, winning some flips. So if we're playing good people and the flips are, sorry, if we're playing good poker and the flips are on our sides, this challenge, we could get right up to $100 tonight. Easy peasy. Okay, we're heads up against Mac Lovin. Oh, I've played this guy several times. How many hands? Yeah, 50. Okay, 20 hands. So I've played him in cash games. I, I know that name. That's one of those names you don't forget. Oh, I missed that. I wanted to play that fucking hand. Did I fold ace 10? Oh, that one hurt. I guess I can't call that right there with ace 8. Unless he thought I was sitting out. Okay, I think we're good on here. Not the best river card for us. If you, depending on what he bets here. Call 100. 150. So I don't think you'd ever check a flush draw. I don't think you would check 7-8. So I think you're trying to buy it. I think we're calling him. Jack-Queen. 
Never mind, he checked it. Usually people don't check top pair there with that many draws, so there's a straight draw, a flush draw. Uh, and over here on table two, this guy's going all in every hand. Um, I don't think I should have... So now we got a flush on table one. I don't think I should have folded that ace eight now, seeing how he plays. No point of betting him here. I want him to catch up here. See if he can bet with a low, low spade now. There's only two spades that beat us. Well, I guess a straight flush too, but... So I one, one thing, I don't think he has anything, so we're just gonna try to value bet it. Okay, we got the Cowboys, which we've been playing extremely... Oh, Cowboys and Aces. Okay, baby, 4x four four to help our challenge right now. There we go. Okay, we got the Aces over here on table 2. Let's fire up another one. Guys, we're, we're playing hot right now. Coming back from a huge downswing. Got some wind under our belts. We're winning flips. Playing solid poker. This is why I started a YouTube channel for nights like this. Um, you know, it's discouraging when you're recording and uh, you're trying to show it to people. I'm still new to this. I've only been recording for roughly a month. And when, you, when you're on a downswing, uh, I'm not used to it, right? Like you want to show people you're good. So when I'm seeing this graph go all zigzaggy, like it, it's hard to swallow at times, uh, especially if people who don't watch poker that much, they might not know um the type of structure of game i'm playing like hyper turbos three max shorthanded not a lot of chips the variance in them are extremely high and if you don't get big spins or win big spins it's hard to stay positive like uh sorry i gotta sneeze in a second oh man i gotta sneeze okay most people don't check back twice with this type of board so i'm gonna steal it with the king So you'll notice with the type of poker I play, oh, we got a 6x. Things are going well. Um, I don't just look at my two cards. A lot of people, when I even watch people on Twitch, like a lot of the pros, I'm not trying to say I'm better than them by any means. They're, they're, they definitely do more homework. They're better than me. The one thing I think I do a little bit more often than some of them, though, um, they a lot of times play their cards and just their cards as opposed to people's tendencies. So a lot of times, I, my, my cards have no draws, no value, no showdown, and I'm betting when I just smell weakness a lot. Um, just tendencies of people checking twice. Um, the board doubles up if they tank, if they bet. Like just tendencies what people do, as opposed to just my my cards. Ace Jack, we're probably against pocket pair. Oh, ten nine. So we got that one. So I wouldn't mind this one being over quick so we can concentrate on the 6x. If this guy wants to get in right now with the ace, ace-nine suited, I'm definitely happy to. This guy's trying to be our friend over here. Let's talk to him. Is he from Canada? So I never know why my my my, my tapping never comes up. Like I don't know if you're allowed to do it in a hand or what. I don't know how to type on this site. It's very strange. Yeah, it doesn't come up. I told him to check out my YouTube because most of these guys, I don't know if they know, if I'm on YouTube, I'm obviously recording us. You can see my hands, learn how I play. It can be an advantage. I was a little concerned about doing that, but with what I'm playing, you play, I know it's party poker, they don't have too many people, but with the stakes I'm playing, I don't know if these people can really adjust by, by watching me play every night. I guess there's definitely a handful of guys that could exploit me, the regulars, but you have to put a pretty big sample to really learn how I play on these. And I, I mix it up quite a bit, though. I'm not too worried about it. Probably one of the worst cards we get in the deck there, that three of spades. But it could be a scare card for him, so we're going to bet once and then shut it down. Okay, now we're going to shut it down. Ooh, and we won it. Call this with, oh, the backdoor spades. Okay, do we want to call us an inside? I think we have to in the spade draw. It's 
Sorry, I'm trying a new music list tonight. I don't like that background music right now. Hopefully it's done soon, because it's pretty fucking brutal. Okay, that board he shouldn't have hit there too often. So King 10's one of those hands. Ooh. So maybe he's protecting a six there. Could be just going all in on a draw. Okay, let's get involved in the six X. We haven't had anything yet. This Allen guy has been playing 80% of his hands. It's only been eight hands. Okay, and that's a massive raise here. But I think because of his raise, how big it is, I think it could be a low pocket pair. So we're gonna get it in here. Ace 10 out of position. Four or six X, baby. He just seems like a new newbie type of player. That's his very strange bet with almost anything you have. Go ahead and fold it. We'll take your 105. Fold it. Sixes. There's the pocket pair. There's our ace. There we go, baby. We knew eventually, guys. We were playing way below that that yellow line. Eventually, it had to catch up. Okay, let's let's update this. Even though we got big six x going down. Ooh, this guy's just dogging us like this. Just dogging us. I'm not gonna go in on a flush draw. Okay, we are heads up for the six x with the. Pretty nice chip lead. Oh, folded the Cowboys. Okay, we're gonna bet with this type board. You wanna keep going all in on us with top pair? Go ahead. Okay, this, this board here on table one with the six X, I'm gonna check that. That board's not draw heavy, so I'm very happy to check it. Now, I don't like that he, the five king because he would've let out a lot of times with that. We'll pot control that. Okay, now we, we beat most of his kings now. The only hand that beats us is a five. So do we raise him here? I think we have to raise. Ah, oh, man, that's a tough spot. Yeah, I think we raise him. Because all his kings are beat. And we beat his bluffs too. There we go. Go, cool. he's down to nothing. Seven, nine, four big blinds. Hmm. I think we call here. Oh, we shouldn't have called there. <laughs> I'd have to look at a chart for that one. Four big blinds, seven, nine. I think it's awfully close. Okay, he can't float here too often in table one. So jack high there, I'm just gonna play position. King seven, we're gonna get it all in table one. Let's do it for the six X, for the win. Okay, no king, no seven, no straight. Nice, we win the 6x, and can we win? Oh, yo, flops this ace ball. Yeah! Guys, 6x, 2x, what did we win before that, a 4x? Let's just stare at this for a while, I gotta breathe it in. Finally feels good to be back on the winning side, man. We've been losing for so fucking long, playing discouraged, have had no uh, air in my tires. At least you guys finally see your boy doing what he does. Okay, how do we close these bastards? Uh, we don't want to go to those. Uh, and we're slowly getting some points, so all good in the hood right now. We're not going to get too cocky here, though. We've been on the downswings many times. That says 130, but I don't think that has a 6x or the other ones we just did. Oh, man, does that feel good to finally just, you know, win the proper flips and not lose to the... The hands have been pissing me off the most are like I'm getting it in a lot with like the ace king, the ace queens versus like a ace six or I have pocket aces against like uh, they'll have like an ace five like I have their hands dominated. Okay so where is this? 160. Guys we are up so from 107 to 160 would be about $55. So we are doing well. Let's uh let's let's play. We're playing good poker. Um, those of you who do play poker, um, when you're playing good, you want to play long sessions. You want to keep on playing. Like even though this video, I don't want it to be crazy long, but if you are playing good and you're playing positive, you just want to keep grinding. When you're on a downswing and you're playing bad, 
those are the times you want to play less even though you want to get it back and that's actually a big weakness in my poker career and my poker game is when I'm down it's the gambler's code is you want to break even you want your money back and you play you keep playing keep playing and most times you're gonna lose more money because you're, you're, you're just not playing well you're trying to gamble um, you think you're playing the same but a lot of times you're not um, you have to really be self-aware to see how you're playing. But when you're, especially live poker, if, if you're playing good poker and you're making money, that means people are losing money and they're fucking playing bad. So if you're winning money, I used to just set a quota. So I'd go to the casino and say, okay, if I make 200 bucks, no matter what, if it takes me one hand, I'd leave. And I would do that consistently. I kept fucking leaving. I'd, I'd be winning money, see a weak table, and I'd leave. I'd leave. And then eventually you get more experience, you realize that if you have a weak table, poker's not like blackjack, you're beating the house, that you should just get up and walk away. If you have a weak table, you should fucking take Red Bulls, do whatever you take, uh, beat up on that table, keep making money. If you have to take away your, you know, put away your profit and what you came with and you want to play with the money you have, uh, I understand bankroll management. But those are the days you don't want to walk away. And the same thing with online. If you're playing good and you think you're in the zone, um, just keep playing longer. Like obviously, you know, if you got uh, commitments, commitments are commitments. But when it comes to just poker talk, those are the days you want to keep on playing. Most of you guys would know that by now, but just my little rant of my slow, slow learning of what I've done over the years of playing poker. And uh, to be honest, I just starting to do this shit a bit more in my life. I wasn't doing it for years. And a lot of it's just from podcasts, listening to people on Twitch, reading books, and finding out what the pros are doing. And some of it's common sense for you people who are successful in life. Um, you know, but uh, when I relate it to poker, it just makes sense, right? Um, my, my losing sessions, I tend to play the longest, which is just ass backwards. Ace, king, we're calling that all day. Oh, and that's for a 4x. Can we hold? Can we hold? We cannot hold. So he got us there on the river. But he is a bad player. He's jamming way too wide there. That was 15 big blinds with eight, uh, sorry, jack 10, and he had a limper on the button. That is not a good play. Can we win a flip? Can we win a flip? Okay, we're back to winning flips. Would have preferred the win the one on the 4x, but is what it is. Ooh. Okay, ace five. Playing Freddy. Hmm, that's a strange spot right there. Freddy, I'm gonna jam Freddy. Just because how short that guy was, ace five, I don't wanna play at a position. Too strong to fold. Just one of those spots there with the stack sizes, I prefer shoving in that spot. We'll call this guy's all in, Mick. There's our jack. Nice. Okay, we take, we take Mick out. We're heads up against our boy Freddy. Where's Freddy from here? I don't know, sometimes it shows me fast, sometimes it doesn't. Fucking, they're really annoying. I don't know where Freddy's from. He's from the, the mystery land. Maybe he's from the ocean, the dolphin. From Brazil. King eight, we'll call. And we're gonna check raise him here. We're gonna check raise you, Freddy. Okay, Freddy. You done did it to us. Man, should I have just let out here? Oh, this is such a shit spot. I guess we got to call us all in. Not happy about it. Queen 10. Freddy, you should have bet, my friend. Because I wouldn't have checked a straight in that spot. Okay, I think our king high is good on table 1. Or table 2. Maybe it's not good. Maybe it's not. Ace 2. We are all in for the 4x. Oh, mix the same guy we took out over here. Okay, mix all in with the five seven. Don't do to us. There we go. There's our boy Mick getting us back in the game in the four X. He's the one that screwed us in the first place, so it's only fitting. Can the ladies be loyal to us? They usually are. 
Okay, we're just gonna bet this hard. Too many draws here. Ah, shitty. We gotta go all in here, but he could have Jack-8. Ah, Freddy! Caught in the cookie jar. What was that, Freddy? We're playing too good for you to get caught with that shit. Freddy's gonna give it to us. Okay, I think a Jack would raise Oh, that's a bad spot. Okay, this guy's playing so bad here. I think we gotta call him King Queen. Wow. I did that too exploitive there just because how bad that guy's been playing. Okay, does he jam with a Jack or Ace? I'm calling him. He's got an Ace. So I played both those calls just based on who my opponents are. Not a lot of people would jam that Ace there. It's a very strange spot to jam an Ace. Very strange spot. Most people want a value bet. They just picked up top pair. They want to scare you away. So it didn't really make sense there. Not to me anyways. Freddy's bringing it. There we go. Freddy's back. And the ladies are back. And we got a 6x. And we're all in with the ladies. Against the Ace King, classic Ace King, and the Ace King does not get there. Pretty solid friggin' night. Pretty solid night here. I'm gonna open up the 6x. Guys, this could really, really, really help us to end what a friggin' good day this has been. We will let this just, but our green line, look how far it was from that yellow line at one point. And it is finally, finally, finally met it. Ooh, queen four, because they're both in there, I think we got a call. These are one of the boards. I'm probably going to check it both times. Oh, that ace. If it was a brick, I would have let out here. Try to steal it. But that, that ace is going to... Ooh, can our four steal this? Please be good, four. Please be good. Please be good. Ooh. Wow, I would have called this guy. This guy, Flint, just saved us from calling that. Oh, we would have been right. Oh, Flint was right. Called him with King High. Wow, I couldn't call because of two of them. Okay, A6 suited. If it wasn't a 6X, I would jam in that spot. Okay, do we check raise him? Do we check raise him? I think we do here. Got an overcard. We got the nut flush draw. And we have fold equity. So we are going to check raise him. Okay, now we're just going to get all in here. That ace isn't going to fold too many times here, so... Oh, raw dog. I didn't want the 10 queen to get us there. Flint's eyes are just staring at me. Flint, you're a little creepy, buddy. Stop staring at me. Okay, we got the chip lead for the 6x. Okay, let's not adjust. It's so nice to see, baby. Okay. Flint's going to probably raise us. He's been... Okay, if he checks, we're stabbing that. But he beat us to the punch. I'm gonna lead out here. We got top pair, we don't want a free card. That's what I'm talking about. Nothing wrong with donking out people. People think you're a bad player. You gotta protect your hand. If I didn't bet there, there's a good chance they're checking it. If a queen, jack, 10, king, ace, any of those cards would have been bad news bears for us. We would have had to shut it down. There's only certain hands you want to check to the razor. Okay, Flint's all in. Are we going to be heads up? Jack, queen. Oh man, I almost want to lead out there. That's a nice spot to lead out. You know what, I'm leading out. We have two over cards, we got an inside. Can't call us with ace high there. And there's the nuts there, we got him, we got him. Ace five, he called us the, an ace five. Honestly, I didn't think he could call with that board with ace high. I thought if he had ace five, ace seven, I don't think an ace could call that board with that bet. But apparently I was wrong. Even ace queen, like that's a fucking hard spot to float there. Very hard spot. Okay, 
guys, let's end a fucking great, great, or best yet night of the of the hero challenge. Well, you know what? That's a steal right there. That's what I'm talking about. Not only are we catching, we're picking our fucking spots. We're in the zone here. The matrix is going down. There is no spoon, baby. Okay. Let's put pressure on our boy here. Not with the A2, though. Okay, that deuce probably got us a win. Yeah, baby. What do you have? King 10? Show us the King 10. Show us the King 10. Queen 10. Awfully close here. And the Queen 10 is all in right here. Flip, baby. Flip, baby. Club, club. There we go. Guys, 6x in the house. Okay, that will be the end of our best, best video. Yeah, I'm going to say, you know, that was better than any of our, our uh, Hero 3 challenge. Um... That took 13 days. I don't think we ever ran that hot in any video ever. Um, we couldn't lose tonight. We had a, and a lot of times we only get 2x spins and we have fucking 15 games in a row 2x's. That there, uh, I can't remember if we won two 6x's or, but that was a handful of friggin' wins there. And we badly, badly needed it because I was sick and tired of being in the minus. So I'm gonna have to give that one more second to give you guys a full update. But we are definitely, starting to be the way this challenge should be going okay this says we we're at 160 last time so it has not even updated yet we're gonna have a new peak baby we are above the yellow line that's what i like to see i hope that green line gets a thousand better than this yellow line because we've been we've been under it for so freaking long i don't mind flipping it around for a while I'm going to update it one more time. We should be good right about now. Okay, guys, we're at a new milestone, baby. 185. So, guys, we got to get to $307 to end this challenge. Tonight was a huge, huge boost. We could not miss. It was our night. Thanks for watching, guys. Tune in to day nine, and we're on our way to finishing this challenge. Peace out.